Welcome Federation guests. This station has some mechanical flaws that you are able to correct. I am an artificial intelligence interface device. This station was designed to concentrate gravity waves from the gas giant and draw the planet you call Inglesby, flinging it into a safe orbit. That sounds like a wild scheme. What do you want us to do? We will need permission from our commander. Your science is most primitive, human. Nonetheless you will be able to complete the tasks we ask of you. Get your permission. Time is short. Our repair crew was able to figure out the alien technology, mostly bugs in computer systems. They found something disturbing in the course of their work. There were 50 corpses in stasis tubes, and hundreds of empty ones. It appears that the tubes were part of the malfunctions. The corpses look lifelike, perfectly preserved. Captain, your people have completed the repairs. Please return them to your own vessel. This station will now complete its mission. Captain, I have analyzed the power potential of the station. I don't believe it will be enough, though we have not seen this type of technology before. There is another problem, looking at the data. Assuming that we succeed, the path of the giant planet will be altered too. The station takes momentum from the giant one. When it does, the planet's course will be changed. It will head around the sun and then out in deep space. In the process, we expect a coronal mass ejection to occur that will menace the planet in us if we stay, mainly with a short radiation burst. It is questionable whether our shields will hold. We may be able to add enough towing capability to complete this. Coordinate with engineering. Mr. Moons, what do you think? We'll do everything within engineering reason. Governor I will give you one last chance. We have time to bring your people up here. The spirits will protect us. I have said it before. We don't have enough time captain. The station is powering up. We need to do the same. Sound general quarters. Charge tractor beam emitters. All non-essential systems on standby. All fusion reactors to full power. Set course for Inglesby.
It's not enough power, Captain. It will fall short. Wait. Our power levels are increasing rapidly, but how? Captain, this isn't possible. The power levels have gone crazy. 300%, 400%. I can stop it, but our systems are okay. I don't know how. Continue engineer. Proceed as planned. We did it, Captain. The planet is in a new orbit. Maybe a little cooler, but safe. The large one is headed away. The space station is headed right for Ingalls B, Captain. Orbit predicted. Shall we intervene? No navigator. Assume orbit around Ingalls B and await further instructions. Tractor beam off. Secure from general quarters. Status report. Is everything going as planned? Our power levels have returned to normal, Captain. I don't understand it. What about the coronal mass ejection? How bad will it be? We are dealing with plasma, which will cause problems with our systems. Particulate radiation, except neutron radiation, won't penetrate, but there will be X-rays and gamma radiation and those could be a problem. We can make a series of orbital satellites that will help shield the colonies, but microwaves will have to be used to power them. It's a rough ride. Science officer? What do you suggest? We should keep as much as the crew as possible away from the skin of the ship. Okay work with the doctor. Keep our people safe. All satellites operational. Engineering waiting for orders. Now hear this. General quarters, general quarters all hands man your battle stations. Charge microwave emitters. Power the satellites. Shields to maximum. Here we go folks. Captain look. I don't know what they are. They are forming a ring around our ship. There are 50 life units protecting us. They are diverting the radiation. We will be okay. Captain's log. With the danger past, we are once again turning our attention to the colonists on the surface. The damage was rather moderate, and the injuries of people from both colonies are being treated by the doctor. One left over from the event will be spectacular auroras for a time. For us however, there is an uncomfortable decision to make. Starfleet may still insist that the colonists vacate the planet. I have a growing suspicion that the aliens on the planet actually came from the satellite. Captain, the corpses are a biological match for the people down below. What is your point, Doctor? I already figured that. Come to the conference room. Nurse, she can return to the planet to their own colony. Discharge her from sick bay. Captain, these people are from this planet. They did not come from somewhere else. All the genetic markers indicate that they are from this planet. Of course we cannot let them know that because of the Prime Directive. We can tell our people, and Starfleet needs to know. They are genetically compatible with us. Okay exec, go explain this to the governor. It is a tough situation. On the one hand, 
it is their planet. On the other hand, they really could use some guidance. What do you think Starfleet will have to say? They will probably just want to remove the homesteaders from the planet. The two colonies are separate. Our engineers are helping with infrastructure governor. You should be in good shape. We have ordered supplies from Starfleet to help you out. Thank you so much. I cannot overestimate what you, and the spirits have done here. It's okay if we mingle with them, isn't it? They seem nice. Of course you may. I want you to get to know them. Excuse me humans. We noticed some of our children playing with human children. I am Jane Schott, executive officer of the Intrepid. I hope that is not a problem. On the contrary human, we thought that if our children can do it, we can. Maybe we could talk for a time. Sit down and be comfortable. You can join us for tea and cookies. Tea and cookies? What is that? It's an ancient earth tradition denoting friendship. You will enjoy it. You too Jane, please stay. We would like to share some traditions with you as well. Excellent. We have a barn dance later. Come on over. <laughs> 